Revenge when I drop out my pictures, I'm pretty like art, bitch. I look like a figure. Pretty gangster, pretty gangster. So she All the pretty girls know they gotta tap in. Hey, pretty girls, so I just wanted to tell y'all the things that you will need. You need two bandanas, a pair of skinny jeans. I got mine from the thrift store, but you can probably find yours at Walmart. And you need a sewing machine. You can use fabric glue for this as well, but everywhere I put a seam, you're going to use the fabric glue. So you will see what I mean in the video. And if you do want to use fabric glue, this is where you can, um, that's the fabric glue that I suggest at least. And um, make sure that you use the fabric glue from E6000 because that's the best glue that I know of. You can find all of these materials like the bandana, the glue, um, like thread and everything like that at Hobby Lobby of course because that's where I got my stuff from. Um, I did want to mention that I did get this idea from a picture I saw on Pinterest. So, shout out to whoever the creator is that did that. But I decided to put my own little twist on it and make it a little bit more scrunchy, like more stacked looking. That's more like a split hem. So, I want mine to be more stacked. And just to let y'all know, if you want to shop um, these pants and you want me to make you a pair, you can go and shop on my website, Oseana Apparel. But other than that, let's get into this video and let's get into these DIY vibes, period. <laughs> What's up pretty girls? Welcome back. So we're just gonna jump straight into this tutorial. So what you're gonna need is two bandanas in your color of choice. I chose hot pink because that's just the sort of mood that I was in. Um, and then I got these pants from the thrift store. I got the bandanas from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents a piece. So now I'm going to get started with this tutorial. First thing you want to do is go ahead and cut off the bottom of your pants. And I want to say that's about like maybe an inch and a half to two inches. And then the next thing you're going to do is take your bandana. You're going to slide it up underneath your pants as you see me doing here. And basically you're using your pants as a template to make the stack part. That's going to be connected onto the bottom, if that makes sense. So if you make stack pants, and you kind of know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, please make sure that you follow every step that I do so that you won't get lost or anything. So as you see me showing you guys, that's basically the line where I'm going to cut. Now it's very important to remember as you're cutting to make sure that you cut seam allowance. If you don't know what seam allowance is, please go ahead and pause this video and just do a really quick Google search on what a seam allowance is. So that you can know how to properly cut out these pants. When you are cutting for seam allowance, I always cut more than less because you, it's all, I mean, I can always cut less than more because it's just safe to have extra just in case you mess up. So yeah, basically that's the excess that I had left over. And then I just cut off the little bit of the bottom because I feel like that the bottom part was going to be long enough with the stack. So I went ahead and cut it off. And then that is literally the part that I'm going to be connecting to the bottom of the pants to make the pants stacked. So now I'm basically going to do the same thing to the other um, bandana. But I'm going to take that first bandana that I cut out and use it as a template. But before I cut it out, I, as you can see, I'm making sure that everything is symmetrical. And making sure that I cut everything literally as close as possible so that both can be as identical as possible i feel like i just contradicted myself but y'all get the point <laughs> and with the second piece you don't have to worry about cutting out seam allowance because you already did it with the first piece so you literally are going to be doing the same thing to have two pieces that come out exactly alike so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold the fabric or fold the bandana right sides together because what we're going to do is we're going to sew sew with the sewing machine up the side of the um, bandana that's open. So as you guys can see, the side that I'm pinning is going to be the side that we're going to sew shut. That's why we had to cut with the steam allowance on that side. So basically what I'm about to do is literally 
make sure that everything is even make sure that it's on folds the fold that already came with the bandana will really help for you to just fo follow that as a guideline and yeah just literally pin all the way up and down the side of that bandana and do it to both parts Okay, so y'all see that I literally pinned on both sides. And basically what I'm showing y'all is how that top part right there is going to be the part that's going to connect to the pins. So I'm over, we went over to my sewing machine. And what I'm going to do now is sew those, both of those side seams shut on the side of the bandana. So that we're basically making, this is the, the basically now that we have finish sewing this part what i'm going to do is take this is the extended stack part i'm going to take my pants it's literally right side out as you all can see and i'm going to slide oh i'm sorry okay so i'm going to slide this part over the pants so let me show you what i mean what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my hands put it in the inside of it like i'm putting on a, a sleeve and then I'm going to grab my jeans and slide the extended part over and make sure that it is right sides together. As you can see, this is the right side of the um, bandana because it's the brightest side and this is the dull side because it's like got that different sort of, you know, material, I mean, look to it. So that's how you know it will be the right side and the wrong side. We put a right side together. This is the right side of the jeans, right side of the bandana, smash them together. And then I'm also going to make sure that this seam that we just sew on the sewing machine, I'm going to put that on the inseam of the pants, which means that will be the seam that's run along the inside of your leg. Match that up. Match these two seams. You see it's a seam right here. It's a seam right here. Match those seams up. And that, like I said, that goes with your inseam. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pin around the whole bottom of your pant leg just to make sure it stays secure while you are sewing. Now, if you, I mean, like, you don't have to put a lot of pins in this. I'm not going to put a lot of pins in it. But this is just, like, for the sake of if you're a beginner at a sewing machine and you need to, you know, make sure that you, this is your first time, like, really doing a circle a stitch in a circle then definitely go ahead and add as much pins as you want to but for me i'm probably going to add about like at least maybe five because like i said earlier the more pins that you add the more times you will have to stop to take the pins out and for me this is a project i want to just you know boom 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 so get it done so that's why i'm not adding a lot a lot a lot a lot of pins i probably do like maybe three on each side i may going to just take the bottom part off of my machine so i can sew a circle Okay, so now I'm done with both of my legs. I have my tails and stuff cut off. Okay, so now I'm just about to literally take the bottom part of the jeans and flip it on over. And as y'all can see, now it's attached to the jeans. Both of the seams are matching up. So it looks a little bit more clean. And voila! You now have extended jeans with some cute ass um, bandanas on the bottom. And what I'm basically about to do, I'm going to try these on for y'all and I'm going to stop.
just literally sew along that line using the seam allowance and you're going to do this to both of the pant legs slip the jean onto the uh, machine and then sew around that circle make sure that you back stitch at the beginning and the end cut off all your tails and you should be good to go